is Saint Maximilian Kolbe. This week we will focus on the example and words of the 20th century apostle of Marian consecration, Saint Saint Maximilian Kolbe. Kolbe knew well De Montfort's Marian teaching and spoke enthusiastically about it in formulating his own expression of true devotion to Mary, he not only deepened several aspects of de Montfort's insights, but added many new ideas from his own contemplation of the mystery of Mary. Before we turn to his Marian teaching, let us first get to know the man, Maximilian Kolbe. Who are you, St. Maximilian Kolbe? If we were to ask the saints this question in an interview, we might be disappointed, at least initially. With the gentleness and humility, he would probably reply, now that question is not so important. What is really important is this one. Who are you, O Immaculate Conception? Immaculate conception. This answer should not disappoint us if our goal in the interview were to get to know Saint Maximilian Kolbe. For his answer actually tells us a lot about him. In fact, the great passion of him, uh, the passion of his life was to come to know the mystery of Mary particularly as she revealed herself to St. Bernadette of Lourdes. I am the Immaculate Conception. Why did she call herself the Immaculate Conception? Is not her name Mary? Tomorrow we will begin, uh, we will begin to reflect on this intriguing mystery. Today, let us see what in our hypothetical interview called by uh, would not have answered. Who is Saint Maximilian Kolbe? He is known by many titles. Martyr of Charity, uh, Saint of uh, Auschwitz, Founder of the Militia, Militia Immaculata, Apostle of Mary, and Patron Saint of the 20th century. But before all this, he was just Raymond. Raymond Kolbe, who is in 1894, was born into a poor Polish farming family. And from that beginning, one would not have guessed he would eventually be a great saint. In fact, one day his mother was so frustrated with his behavior and she yelled at him in exasperation, Raymond, what will become of you? This shook the boy to the core. Fixed with grief, he immediately turned to the mother of God, asking her, what will become of me? Then he went to the church and uh, re repeated his question. The future saint recounted what happened next. Then the Virgin Mother appeared to me, holding in her hands two crowns, one white, one red. She looked at me with love and she asked me if I would like to have both of them. The white meant that I would uh, remain pure and read that I would be a master. I answered, yes, I wanted them. Then the virgin looked at me tenderly and disappeared. The white crown of purity came first. Raymond confirmed himself uh, in it when a brother Maximilian, he professor, professed uh, religious uh, vows, one of which uh, 
was charity but his purity was not just of the body for there is another kind of purity purity of intention a person practices purity of intention when he directs his thoughts words and actions not to himself or another creature but to the divine purpose or mission and ultimately to god perhaps because of this uh, is natural intensity and passion called by felt a particularly strong desire to give himself to a specific mission or goal one of his classmates in the minor seminary rel- uh, relates he often said that he desired to consecrate his entire life to this great idea called by his great idea eventually crystallized into what he called the malaysia immaculate which he started in 1970 with the six of his fellow seminarians in the mi malaysia immaculate is they call is truly was a great idea at least in the sense of the is ambi- uh, ambitious goal its goal was nothing less than to bring the whole world of mary immaculate and to do as uh, as uh, as quickly as possible he would like to bring the whole world to god through christ under the general uh, generalship of mary immaculate and to do as quickly as possible fulfilling this mission through obedience to god's will in union with the mary immaculate was called by his entire concern his pure intention and he sacrificed everything for its accomplishment which brings us to the red crown in 1941 after decades of incredibly fruitful apostolic labors in poland and japan kolbe was addressed by gestapo and sent to the auschwitz concentration camp before his arrest his brother franciscans had pleaded with him not to go not to go to that you know army place but go into hiding he said he was grateful for their loving hearts but could not follow their advice later he explained why i have a mission in the immaculate as a mission to fulfill that mission was accomplished on the eve of the feast of mary's assumption into heaven when after having volunteered to take the place of a prisoner condoned to starvation in the impatient nazi nazis uh, finished kolbe off with a lethal injection thus saint maximilian died a martyr of charity and received his second crown from his immaculate let us pray come holy spirit living in mary make me pure in body and spirit and help me to do help me to die to myself amen father and son holy spirit amen